Hello, Internet. Welcome back to Cave Factory. We've got uh, episode two here going on. And as you can tell, I'm recording this around the holidays because my character has a stupid hat on. And I have no idea how to get rid of. Um, but anyway, what I have done a little bit between episodes this is not much. It ended up not being as much as I was hoping. But I did move th some things around here. And one of the biggest things that I did is I built some more... Uh, the sails and kind of rearranged how the windmill generator is set up so this works a little bit better um, or it doesn't take up as much space i think is really the the trick there i also turned off the mini map because i don't need a mini map if 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 something happens later on where it's like oh man i need a mini map i can always turn it back on um but yeah so anyway we've got that we've got the shafts that come out come on up here um, I run it through a couple of the uh, gears like this so that we're going to get as much speed out of it as we can. We could get a little bit more, I think, with some more gear trickery, but I'm not really worried about it right now. The gear shift is right here just to flip it because it comes out of here turning the wrong way. And it made, made uh, setting these up a little bit more difficult than it needed to be. So I flipped it. And then we have the gearbox right there, so I have one that goes over to the mechanical crafter, and then the other two that are going to the crushers. Uh, I did find out that you do, you do die um, if you get into the crusher. There's a unique death message for it, which is kind of neat, but yeah. Um, and then we've got these two chutes, and a chest there for the output, and a chest there for the input. So that makes things a little bit easier there. So what we need to work at now um, is we're just gonna we're gonna keep pushing forward basically with these quests here. So we can build ourselves a dank, um, which is some coal and a barrel, and there's a dank. Quest complete. Okay, does this work the same? Huh. I do not know. Um, I also did turn on uh, advanced tooltips so we can see like the tags and stuff on items, which makes things a little bit easier for sorting and filtering and all that kind of stuff when we get down to it. Uh, anywho, we completed that quest, so we now get ourselves a magnet. And the magnet is a charm item. And it goes into the charm slot, which is ah those two. Pick up items and XP up to five blocks away when activated. There we go, magnet on. Huh. Okay, that's what that does. We'll leave it turned off for right now um, because this pack has a bunch of stuff in it that requires you to just leave stuff laying on the ground for a period of time, and I don't want to be picking stuff up that I'm trying to, you know, process with. So, anyway, we need to get ourselves into blood magic now, apparently. To get dirt or lava in this world, we need some kind of magic. Get blood into the altar by stabbing yourself or killing monsters near it. Um, and that's what the uh, spawner over there is for. So we need to make ourselves a blood altar. So we need stone, gold, and a furnace. Blood altar. Blood altar has been crafted. Quest completed. So now we get ourselves a dagger of sacrifice. The book that we will need, as well as a diamond. So we can make a weak blood orb or we can work on making dirt and kind of go down this tree. We're okay on food for right now. So I think we will do the Z weak blood orb. Used for crafting and to get blood into your blood network by placing it in the altar. Right click to bind it to yourself. It won't work unbound. Use rewards from this quest to upgrade the spawner. 
right click with them in hand. So in order to make this, we put a diamond and put a diamond into the blood altar. Okay, that's why I gave us a diamond. So, um, where do I have to put this? Can I put it, like, if I put it there... Okay, that does work. Oh, so if you don't have enough in there, it just wastes it. Okay. So... I need the zombie spawner to work. Why is the zombie spawner not working? Come on. Come on over here, dum-dum. Quest complete. Alright, so we finished that quest. Which just gets us some XP, because that's mostly, I think, just to teach you that, um, you know, you get stuff by just letting random shit fall on the ground. Oh, baby zombie. Hey, baby zombie. Do I have enough iron to make an iron door? If I can make an iron door... do um i'm just gonna put an iron door there instead of just having a hole because the door should still block the light i mean more you guys want to present yourselves to me i will take it i'm trying to get this orb There we go. All right, weak blood orb, right click. Okay, I see. So that's putting the, the energy from the tank into, into the network. Okay. I don't know what the network is, but whatever. Uh, use for crime, right click to bind it to yourself, which I did, it hurt. And then use the rewards from this quest to upgrade the spawner. Right click with them in hand. Did you guys move? So the next quest that I can do, I can work on a speed rune or I can work on tier two. But considering I'm hurt, uh, we need to work on getting ourselves some some food. Granite infused with blood in the altar creates dirt for some reason. So granite. So I need some granite. Granite cobblestone. I'm assuming it has to be um, granite granite and it can't be cobblestone. Wait, what? Why are there two recipes that both use granite? That is going to cause problems, I suspect. All right, granite cobblestone. Okay, so it does have to be granite granite. Well, like for now I do, because now I'll need to do... Oh, it's just like an instant little poof. Uh -huh. And that gets me some wheat seeds. All right. Time to get something to eat. Yeah. Throw dirt on the ground. Wait 15 seconds to get a random plant. All right. But first, since I have a little bit, um, I'm going to need water, though, to be able to really grow anything. Oh, a cacti. Nice. Cacti contain a lot of water. I've heard maybe we'll be able to extract it using a mixer. Throw dirt on the ground. Wait 15 seconds to get a chance of creating the green stuff. Also gives us some sugar cane. 
To make a mixer, we'll need iron plates. Mechanical press will make it possible. Yeah, so we're basically going to have to follow this until we can get water. So we need to make a mechanical press. Uh, oh, I got a food challenge completed. Uh, there, wheat seeds. Woof. Alright, anyway. Mechanical press, mechanical press. So that is not too, 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 too terrible to make. Other than that block of iron. Blah. Okay, there's the press. Press complete. Gives me some more iron, which is always good. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, now we need to make a depot, which is something to make plates on. That's pretty easy, actually. Okay, we just make the depot. I know it's pronounced depot, but whatever. Some more casing. And now we can make the mechanical mixer. Remember, you can hold W with the cursor, but most items will create to see how they work. To make it work, you'll need to speed things up using large and small cogs. Mixer won't work with low rotation speed. I might actually be okay already because I kind of already did that. So anyway, how do we make a mixer? We make a mechanical mixer. We need to make a whisk. Wait, what? Oh, we need to make... Okay, so we need to make the whisk, so we need the iron plates. Metal press, blacksmith... Wait, what? Let's, oh, the iron sheet. Ah, there we go. So we need to use the mechanical press. We put an iron ingot, and we get the iron sheet out of it. Mechanical press can process items provided beneath it. The input item can be dropped or placed on a depot under the press. Okay. And it looks like it's just cranked up and then you just put it right on there. And you can put them on a belt. So, not too terrible. So, the depot. So I think this will work now. Um, press goes boink. Ew. Okay, so it does it one at a time, but you can put a whole stack on there. But then you gotta wait. Okay. I see how it works. Alright, there's the whisk. And there's the mixer. All right, mechanical mixer. Now, the mixer, we'll need some kind of vessel to contain fluids in. Be a basin, which is a bunch of andesite alloy. Of course it is. Why am I not surprised that it's a bunch of freaking... This is killing my frame rate, too. Basin... Create. Okay, quest completed. Basin. That gets us another couple of cacti, which is nice. Once the basin accumulates one bucket of water, you can extract it with a bucket. Take tank null in hand and hit O to configure it. Oh. Or alt right click to toggle between full and empty modes. Um, assume it goes there. How do I put the, uh... Oh, you just toss it in. Okay. So, I'm gonna need more cacti. 
Um, but we did complete some quests. So we completed that quest, which was to get some kelp. It's weird that it's called time to get something to eat, but then it wants you to get kelp. Kelp is like the one thing here you can't eat. But I got a gluttony term, so that's cool. Um, we can also get a mechanical belt. Used to transfer items or mechanical power. Place two shafts and connect them with a belt. Oh. Oh, I guess you can eat kelp if you dry it. So that should be one tank's worth. Yes. Now I just need to make a bucket. And change the bucket recipe. That's good. All right. Water bucket. Quest complete. And that gets us the tank. Whew. All right. I also wanted um, the cacti just in general. Um, because now I can actually grow cacti. So when I need more water, I don't have to go through this whole, you know thingamajigger with uh, picking up and putting down and throwing around and all that stuff so but anyway um, let me see here I think that is a good point for me to stop uh, this episode I know probably a little bit on the shorter side um, but that's fine uh, there's a lot now that I can do uh, between now and and the next episode which is going to be getting uh, some actual food production set up so I can get some, you know, I'll, I'll expand this out and I'll get some crops growing back in here. We've got carrots, we've got potatoes, and we've got wheat. Uh, yeah, that's that's right, what we've got right now is just those right there. Um, oh, some sweet berries, melons, pumpkins, stuff like that. So we can get some stuff growing back in there and hopefully my, uh, not going to be sitting here hungry and injured. <laughs> For so long, but I'm going to work on that in between episodes. Until then, um, hold on. There might be, let me just look real quick, because there might be one other thing that we can do uh, real quick. This grass would actually be kind of nice. But this alchemy table. <clears throat> uh, oh, we need the blank slate to make that. So to make blank slates, blank runes, all right, yeah, so this, I was, I was kind of hoping that it would just be a real quick, uh, real quick little thing, um, we could just do real quick, but it doesn't look like it is, so, like I said, we will work on that, I will work on getting some food production set up in between this episode and the next I will probably accidentally complete some more of those food challenges um, or quests or whatever you want to call them. Um, but we'll, I'll hold off on collecting them until the episode so you guys can actually see what it is that I'm doing. So anyway, um, make sure that you hit the like button if you like the video. Uh, comment. Let me know what I'm doing. If there's you got any suggestions, tips, anything like that, let me know. I appreciate that all the time. Uh, if you have, no, uh, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next episode when it comes out and remember that I am streaming on Twitch these days. You can catch me Tuesdays and Thursdays, twitch.tv slash silly snow Fox. We're doing some Minecraft on Tuesdays and then other games on Thursdays. Currently right now we are doing a salt and sanctuary magic only run. So I look forward to that. Um, yeah, hopefully the Salt and Sacrifice, the sequel, should be coming out pretty soon. So that'll be pretty cool. We'll play that on stream too. So if you want to catch any of those, follow me over there on Twitch. Uh, if you're not sure what I'm going live or anything like that, you can always follow me on Twitter. Again, Silly Snow Fox will let you know. I usually announce when I'm doing those kinds of events and stuff like that. So... Otherwise, yeah, that's about all I've got for you for today. So make sure that you're having yourselves a wonderful time. Stay safe. See you in the next episode. And until then, happy Minecrafting.